Hey, it's Mark Piddle with The Land Geek with thelandgeek.com, and I'm so happy to have another coffee talk with you. So in case you don't know who I am, um, I'm a professional land investor. I've been a full-time land investor since 2001. I've completed over 5,000 unique transactions in that time, and I'm also the host of three podcasts, um, The Land Geek Podcast, uh, the Best Passive Income Model podcast, and the current podcast, The Art of Passive Income Model podcast. And the way the, the, the system basically works is all we do is we look for properties um, from landowners that uh, own property, but that asset has now become a liability. We know that because they typically owe back taxes. So we send them an offer, quote unquote, top dollar offer, 20 to 30 cents on the dollar. About three to 5% of those people will accept that offer. We then do our due diligence. We close with that seller and then we market that property online. And our average return on investment is 300% for cash and about 800 to 1000% on terms. So a terms deal is basically we owner finance the property. In this way, we take a piece of raw land and we make it cash flow, just like a landlord would with a rental home. And the way that works is we usually ask for a down payment, which we usually get our principal out on the deal. So we usually get our money out on the down payment or within six months of that down payment. And then we get a recurring passive income piece at about a car payment between say 249 and $500 a month. And so now we're getting this income coming in every single month without any renters, without any rehabs, without any renovations, and without any rodents. And because we're not dealing with the tenant, we don't have to deal with Dodd-Frank. We're exempt. We're exempt from RESPA, and we're exempt from the SAFE Act. So this is why I call it the best passive income model. It's a one-time sale. We get passive income without the traditional headaches that most people have to deal with with real estate. Um, I also wanna to talk today about if you're an international land investor, how can you do this model? And what's great about this model is that you can really work this business from anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. So for international investors, basically the model is you'd buy US land. Now you're still responsible for US property taxes and you're also responsible for income taxes here, something called FIRPTA, F-I-R-P-T-A. You can Google it, but basically when you make a profit, the U.S. government will take 10% withheld of your profit to pay for income taxes in the United States, and then you will still be responsible for taxes in your native country, whatever that may be. Um, as far as setting up a U.S. LLC and a U.S. bank account, those are um, things that you will have to do as well. Very simple to do. Um, and all can be done online. And then you'd have to use a virtual mailbox company. Um, I'm using SmartScan or SmartServiceAlert.com. You can just have an app. And then when you're sending out your offers, you would do a system like AgentPro247.com um, and do that. So it's really, really simple um, in, in that for sure. So we've got some people online and I'd be happy to take anyone's questions. So what questions can I answer for people um, this morning, this fine Wednesday morning? Um, I had my Bulletproof coffee earlier this morning. Um, now I'm just drinking regular coffee. So Seth's question is, a tax question. Do you pay quarterly tax, tax payments to the IRS, Arizona? If so, how much? That's a great question, Seth. Um, so when you are a, uh, a company, at a certain point, you can pay estimated tax. Um, the way I actually run my own business, I'm paying uh, a monthly uh, payroll tax, and then I pay quarterly taxes um, with my bookkeeper. My my CPA, my bookkeeper actually take care of all of this for me on an automated basis. So um, I am paying quarterly and I am paying monthly. So I hope that answers your question. All right. David Benalis. Good morning, Mark. Wish I was able to join, but watching is fun too. So David's at, at a, a job right now. Um, 
David just got back from a, a huge social media expo, has all these crazy ninja tips to increase our marketing online, especially on Facebook. So um, I, uh, hopefully in the next Coffee Talk, which will be next Wednesday at 930 Pacific, David and I will be able to, to join in for sure. All right. What other questions can I answer? Should I jump on the treadmill here? I'm going to jump on the treadmill. I've got this treadmill desk uh, from Trek Desk, and I love it. Because look, sitting's the new smoking. All right, here we go. I got to push this in. It might be time to get a new treadmill. Okay, so Bruce Anderson has a question. We are spending too much time coming up with an offer amount on properties, particularly when there's somewhat unique parcels, ideas. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so Bruce, this is how I come up with my pricing. It's really, really simple. Really, really simple. I will call the assessor and ask them for the last six to 12 months of sales in that area or on that APN. Now, if they're all over the place, I'm going to take the lowest one, okay? So that's it. And then I'm going to divide by four. And that's going to get me a huge margin of safety because that gets me to my 300% return on investment if I have to liquidate it for cash, okay? So hopefully that helps. So let's just take an example, right? Um, I, I call the assessor and um, I'm looking at a one-acre parcel, it's $10,000. A 20-acre parcel, it's $15,000. A 40-acre parcel, it's $45,000. You know, and so I'm, I'm putting all these numbers in my spreadsheet. And so now I'm coming up with kind of an idea and a kind of a range for ones and fives and tens and forties. And maybe there's, you know, five properties that recently sold in the last 12 months of, let's say, just five acres. Okay. So, you know, those five, five acre properties, they sold for 5,000, one sold for 10,000, one sold for 12,000, one sold for 100,000. Right. So we've got like, an anomaly. Maybe maybe there's a home on there. Who knows? Okay. I'm going to take the one for 5,000. I'm going to divide by four. That gets me to what, 1250. That's going to be my offer for those parcels. So I'm going to batch them into fives, send out those for 1250. Then I'm going to do the th same thing for the tens, same things for the 15s and do that. Okay. We don't want to send out an offer for a one acre parcel, the same thing as a 40 acre parcel. Okay. That 40 acre parcel person that gets that low, low ball offer is not going to be happy. They're going to send you glitter in the mail, Bruce. Um, that's not good. I hope that helps. All right. Um, Bryce, young Bryce, if you are a registered LLC in a state, do you pay your state quarterly or monthly or at the end of the year? Um, it's going to depend on the, on the company's income, but typically I pay quarterly. Um, when I first started, if there wasn't a profit, then it might be, you know, end of the year. All right. Okay. Yeah. For state taxes. That's exactly it. For payroll and state taxes, that would be quarterly. Carrie, what is your typical inventory turn time? Also, if a property sits, how long before you adjust the price to move the property? If I don't sell that property in 30 days or less, I freak out. The team freaks out. We have to adjust something. Okay. Maybe the price goes up, right? But maybe the down payment goes down. Right, or maybe the monthly payment goes down. So either way, something has to change. Okay, um, thirty days or less. Um, that is a really good indication. Indi in, good indication that if you're doing what we teach you to do, as far as getting your ads out, right, and you're putting out enough ads, that could be the first issue. Is like, are you are you marketing enough? Right. If you're not using postingdomination.com forward slash the land geek, you may not be getting enough listings out there, right? Because I can press a button and put out 124 ads, right? If you're doing two ads a day to my 124, that's probably not enough, right? 30 days or less. All right. Hope that helps. Seth, great new tip. I just found Best Self Co. They've journals. That break down 12 weeks into a journal. Oh, my goodness. That is a huge tip. I'm going to check that out. Best Self Co. So if you're not working the 12-week year, I would definitely recommend getting the book. Um, 
because basically the way a 12 week year works or an average company crushes it, crushes it in November and December because they have an annual goal. Well, what if you compress that into four annual goals? So four 12 week years, every day is a week, every week is a month. There's a built in intensity for you and your team in the business. And it really is great. And then it allows you to pivot, right? And see, okay, were our goals too low or our goals too high for that next 12 week year? Love that book. All right. Bruce Anderson. Awesome. Okay, thanks. So some some deals we closed this week. We closed two cash deals. I'll take it. You know? Um, they both sold on Craigslist. Or wait, yeah, Craigslist. I was thinking buyers list, but no Craigslist. What other questions do we have? Any other questions? Um, I have some notes. Let me go take a look at my notes here in Evernote. Um, we had some questions uh, from the, the the Land Geek Official Motivation Group and Wealth Creation Group. Um, congratulations, by the way, to Derek Marshall, who wrote, another great day in the land business. It's like magic. Closed on the buy March 1st. Closed today on the sale, turned fifteen hundred dollars into nine thousand dollars, and they had like a copy of the check in Facebook. You know, this is like a typical bread and butter deal, right? Not a lot of money to get in this business. Awesome. Oh, look at this, Seth. Great tip. Damon John uses it and swears by it. Bestself.co product self journal. Wow, I'm gonna copy and paste that link for sure. Awesome. Awesome. Self journal. Okay, so let me see my notes. Where is it? Aha. Uh -huh. Here's goes my notebook. Okay, so Jim Baker wants to know um, how would I upload my offers into a mailing service like letterprinting.net or click to mail one at a time? Or will mail merge take care of it for me? Those services will actually do it for you. All you're going to do is upload your Excel spreadsheet into one of those services, and it'll automatically mail merge it for you. So hopefully that helps. Um, Ryan Palmer, I've got a lead, but the owner is deceased. The son contacted me and says he has power of attorney. Any suggestions on how I make this deal work? So Ryan, this happens to us all the time. You've got to see the way that they did probate. If they didn't go through probate, right, and both mom and dad are gone and you have power of attorney, well, what does that mean? The, the, you've got to have a little bit more, I think, than power of attorney. Um, I, I actually would need a little bit more details on that deal. But typically, it'd have to go through a, a probate proceeding. Otherwise, you'd have to do a quiet title which would probably kill your margin on that deal. So it might be a pass. Um, if a county did not have online access to recorded deeds, would you still work it if there were juicy deals? Yeah, absolutely. We work counties all the time that are digitally in the, in the dark ages. Absolutely. Um, just call the county and have them send you a list. How do I structure a deal with the two grantors live in different states. Well, pretty easy. What you're going to do is have a, uh, you know, a little mail chain, right? Where you'll send the first, the, send the deed to the first grantor with an envelope and instructions to then sign, notarize, and send to the next grantor and then have them sign and notarize and then mail it back to you. So pretty good. All right. We got some more questions here. Seth, how much value does a property bordering BLM land add? It, you know, value is always going to be in the eye of the beholder, right? Um, for me, I think it's really nice to have 640-acre section bordering your property because now it almost expands that. You have more privacy. You can go out and, and do whatever you kind of want on that property. So I think it adds a lot of value, actually. 
Um, but just because I think it adds value doesn't mean your buyer will. But I would definitely market it as a benefit for sure. Bordering BLM, you've got 640 acres of privacy. You know for sure no one's going to build next to you on that on that side, right? And then you can use it recreationally any way you like. All right. Any other questions? It's kind of hard to drink coffee and walk on the treadmill desk at the same time, but I'm going to try it. David Banalis, how am I doing, by the way? Anything else I should be discussing? I know he's working. Maybe uh, he won't be able to comment. But Seth, this is a great tip on that journal. The self journal. $32, buy now. That makes your success inevitable. I'm going to buy it. Reach your goals faster. Simple and distraction fee free. Make success inevitable. This is a really pretty site. This is really nice. One time purchase, twenty eight seventy nine for the self journal. Wow, very very cool. Very very well done site. That's a great tip, Seth. Thank you. By the way, who's coming to boot camp? Who's coming to boot camp? We're just about full. I think we've got five spots left. So go to the landgeek.com forward slash boot camp and register. Register. If you don't have the toolkit, get the toolkit first. So you have some, you know, fundamental knowledge and then come to boot camp. Uh, includes two tickets. Oh, I'm feeling the love, David. Doing great. Love it. Thank you. David's been coaching me on how to do these uh, these live videos here. There it is. Thelandgeek.com forward slash boot camp. Nine. What's up, nine? Boot camp, baby. Boot camp. Nine will be there. Nine. How many boot camps have you been to now? I want to say, will this be your fifth? Also, we had a, a really great uh, podcast yesterday with um, David Benalis and Mike Zato, Scott Todd, Tate Litchfield, Rachel Mueller, and Eric Peterson. And um, I think that's going to go out. I don't know when that's going to go. I have to ask Danielle, but it's going to go out this week. We kind of talk about why people keep coming to boot camp, why, you know, why they go to boot camp. Um, we also did some case study stuff and, uh, you know, how Eric Peterson went from making $100,000 profit last year to making $100,000 profit in his first quarter this year and what he had to do to get to that next level. So there it is. Register there. All right. Any other questions? Any other questions? Seth, is the toolkit updated with David Banalis Facebook section? It is. It is updated. And I'm going to send out a, uh email today letting everybody know that it has been updated. And we are also in the process of updating our due diligence course in the toolkit. So the toolkit is kind of a, you know, a living, breathing work in progress, always a work in progress. We're always improving it. We're always updating it, um, especially as the market changes and as things change. So absolutely, absolutely. Um, it is there now. So always, you know, I would say once a month at least or every six weeks, go back to the toolkit and see what changes have been made. Nine, there's a lot of great value at bootcamp and it's always getting better and better. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right. And Nine and I uh, are going to party in Vegas. It's in Vegas. Although his wife is not going to be happy. How's Kaylee doing, Nine? She's sleeping? Nine's got a newborn. We were just we were, uh, talking last week, and he's holding the baby, and it was just so great. How, how great for Nine to be able to like work from home and do that? All right. Does the toolkit include coaching? It does not include coaching, but it does include two 30-minute coaching calls. So, you know, basically, as you go through the toolkit and you have gaps in your knowledge, you need more clarification, get on a call with a Lanking certified coach and get your questions answered. Absolutely. So does it include coaching per se? No, but you can get coached. I hope that answers the question.
All right. Speaking of coaching, uh, flight school is full. Um, our next flight school will be in May. So the April class has been full, filled up, but we are filling up the next class for May. If you want to learn about flight school, uh, set up a call with David or Mike. Um, go to the landgeek.com forward slash free dash training free dash training and scroll below and just book a call there. Um, let me see. www.nalandgeek.com slash free dash training show. There it is. There it is. Bryce, coaching is amazing. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. It really... You know, it's so funny because I heard somebody say, hey, look, would you go to Mount Everest without a Sherpa? No, you wouldn't go to Mount Everest without – you wouldn't go up Mount Everest without a Sherpa. And if you're going to start going to the land investing business or any new business, you need a mentor. Um, because, you know, if you don't, it can be very dangerous, just like Mount Everest. All right. Any tax books you recommend? Picking up profit first later today. Um I love Profit First. I work Profit First. Uh, Jim Adkinson, my CPA, uh, is also a Profit First certified CPA. He actually worked with Mike Michalowicz um, to do that. So I think that alone will do it, honestly. Um, otherwise, I, you know, I don't think it's a good use of time for sure. Um, Cynthia Chapati. Read Profit First, great book for this business. I never get I never get tired of saying Chapati. Um, it's Cynthia's gonna be like Mark. Enough. I get it. It's annoying. Let's just say Cynthia. Cynthia Trip. Yeah, Profit First is great, so, and it's a great book for this business as well. If you if you need cash, right? If you're doing all terms deals, you need cash. Um, email support at thelandgeek.com, and we'll buy. 12 to 18 months of the cash flow from your note. And then that note will revert back to you. And that way you get your money out to deploy on another deal. And then you also get the back end passive income coming back to you. So it's like a win win. And your ROI, if you do the numbers, goes crazy. We'll walk you through it. All right, Cynthia, did you find him through his Profit First Professionals Network? You can say my last name for sure, Mark. Ha ha ha. All right, good. Good. Okay. Um, well, Cynthia Chapati. Uh, I did not find Jim. I actually had already worked with Jim. Um, and then it just turned out like we're both huge Mike Michalowicz fans. Uh, Mike was on the podcast and Jim actually has his own podcast. And he had Jim, or he had Mike on his podcast. And then he went through his training because he's a CPA. So I think, I think Jim came first for me and then profit first. So I didn't implement it right away with him. But it's really been great. It's, it's really great. I, I love it. Um, every two weeks, I do my transfers, owner's pay, profit, uh, taxes, and then um, – is it – wait, owner's pay, taxes, profit, and expenses, operating expenses, right? So everything goes into the income bucket. I can kind of see the cash flow. And then from the income bucket, everything goes out. So I've got those five main – uh, accounts, right? So it's good. All right. Any other questions? Is everybody drinking coffee? Cynthia Tripathi, do you drink coffee? Are you tea? Are you tea? You're kind of healthy. I don't. I don't know what Cynthia's uh, vice is. Nine. Are you a coffee drinker? Seth, you're too young to be drinking coffee. But in Bryce, you should definitely not even be drinking coffee. It's funny to do coffee talk and if I'm the only one drinking coffee. I feel like everyone should be drinking coffee at the same time as I'm drinking coffee or maybe a hot beverage or maybe just a beverage. I don't know. All right. Anything else before we end? Before we end. Seth, I drink straight black coffee three years now. Wow. Yeah. Seth, Seth is in university, so that's probably it. Kurt Richter. 
Kurt, nice to see you. Kurt, are you coming to boot camp? Um, iced coffee. I love it. I love tea more than coffee. Bryce, very healthy. Very healthy. You know, that green tea and the antioxidants. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. Oh, by the way, um, I wanted to share this. I'm going through the Wim Hof breathing method in cold exposure. It was 54 this morning. I went, I did, I swam laps in my pool. My pool is about 65 right now. It was amazing. Amazing. Um, you guys have to check that out, especially if you're in Arizona and, uh, or California and you want you've got a pool and you want to swim like year round. It's amazing. All right. Maybe next boot camp. All right, Kurt, whatever. Cynthia Trapati. Tea is way better. I disagree. I the 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 caffeine buzz is completely different with tea and coffee. Health wise, I agree. Tea is way better. All right, Anna, do you still have seats available for boot camp, Mark? Yeah, absolutely. You got to go to the landgeek.com forward slash boot camp and register now. We've got five seats left. So don't wait, Anna. Get in there now for sure. Bryce, straight tea, no cream or sugar like those British people. I like it. I like it. Bruce Anderson, that cold therapy is truly amazing. Yeah, it, it is amazing. It's like a superpower. It's incredible. I was in Telluride, and I did a 10-minute, you know, cold shower in the Rockies. And, it, you know, after like 20 seconds of maybe being a little cold, it was amazing. Um, this guy's like on to something here. This, this whole thing is incredible. Cynthia, you don't need caffeine if you work out in the morning. No, I know I don't need caffeine. I don't need it. I love it. I love it. I love, I love the ritual of my AeroPress. I, I, I just love making it. I love the smell of it. I just love it. I know. I know. It's, it's more for me than the ritual of it. Just like, you know, meditating, right? All right, Anna, I'm halfway through the book. I need to finish it before the boot camp to feel more prepared. Anna, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, well, it'll help, but it's not required because I promise you, after boot camp, all the land investing clouds will dissipate and everything will become clear. Guaranteed. It's great. I actually would argue that the toolkit is really good fundamental knowledge, but if you really want to get to the next level, you got to get to boot camp. The networking, meeting other people, you know, it feels real in the room because people are actually closing deals in real time in that room. Um, the case studies, the stories, everything just becomes very, very clear. Um, and then, you know, uh, we, we have, you know, lots of different ways of, of getting that learning to the next level. All right, I've got one minute before I got to have my call with Danielle, which I think sounded bad. I don't have to have my call with Danielle. I want to have my call with Danielle. It's great. Um, last question. Here it is. Mark, have you tried nootropics like Piracetum or Nuocept? These are brain vitamins, enhanced cognition. You know, I haven't done it. I do the Bulletproof Coffee. And I think the the butter and MCT oil um, and the fact that I'm on the treadmill desk, like my brain cognition is is really, really good. I mean, uh, look, I, I'm not a, against trying it, but I haven't done it. I haven't done it. Um, I have to look into it for sure. But I, I have really, I mean, ever since I started doing the Bulletproof Coffee combined with the treadmill desk, um, my focus has been really fantastic. Um, I also, I wear a, like these head, this headset when I'm trying to get like real, real deep work done. And um, I've got this app called brain.fm and I just put it on like this focus music and um, it's really great. Bulletproof from what company? Um, so I don't, I don't use it from the actual, the, the company itself. Uh, I forget the guy's name. If you look up, you know, if you Google Bulletproof Coffee, coffee, there's a guy that went up and like created this whole thing. But um, basically, I just do Kerrygold butter, which is uh, unsalted, obviously. You don't want salt in your coffee. 
and then a tablespoon of MCT oil. Um, I blend it. It makes like this frothy latte with good coffee, and it's great. That's that's all I do. I don't actually buy his beans or or anything or any of the other things. I forgot his name. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for jumping on this call. I hope it was valuable. If you want to learn more, go to thelandgeek.com, and um, hopefully I'll see you on the other side. Uh, if you haven't uh, gone to the Land Geek bot yet, if you go to thelandgeek.com, you can subscribe to the bot. It's really fun, and um, check that out as well. All right. Thanks, everyone, and uh, I'll see you on the other side.